Hello, back by popular demand. I'm going to do another tutorial, and today's tutorial is going to go over how to do a four way Venn diagram in our studio to further evaluate and pursue data sets such as uh, 16S ITS sequencing. So, if you're just starting this out, you will need to install the package Venn diagram and then make sure you load it in your library. This will be a brief tutorial. So in short, I always start and clear out my uh, global environment over here, just to have a fresh start with the data. Then you want to load in your CSV file with a distinguished name so you don't uh, confuse it with something different that you also will be working with. So DN being the study name, 16S being the bacterial um, sequencing. VD stands for Venn diagram in this instance. We're going to skip past the alpha diversity and we're just going to get into the Venn diagram portion. So your data will look something like this in its raw sense when you have counts for uh, sequences you're gonna have the total number provided, which is excellent to look at abundance, but in, as far as Venn diagrams go, you wanna to go to a presence absence basis. So therefore transform it to binary. And then you wanna make subsets based on the treatments. And these will be the separate overlapping pieces of your Venn diagram. So in my, treat, in my treatments, uh, there are control, drought, fire, and the combination of drought and fire. The subsets show the sample names as they've been assigned to their treatment. And as you will notice, each of my treatments have eight separate plots. Yours may have more or less. So you run those to make their own separate data fields over here on the right in the global environment. And then with those new uh, data sheets that you just created, you often wanna remove the data that is um, non-existent in those subsets. So we're removing the taxa that sum up to zero across all sample reps. So DN control, and then negative one stands for the removal if it's greater than or equal to zero. So I'm gonna do that for those four sample sets. And then you might want to have an additional parameter and because we wanna have a strong sense of um, actual abundance in these plots rather than just a random occurrence, uh, of it being there in, say, the drought or the fire or so on, we are saying that we're removing the taxa that sum up to less than five across all sample reps. And this way, we can for certain say that of our eight, over 50% of the plots have that particular taxa represented in it. You're might want to adjust that based on your sample set as well. But for this, we're just making sure it's in at least five of the eight reps. This brings us to our Venn data. So we're making another new sample set and we're combining all four of these into a list. So we've initially separated the data into these four subsections. And now we're combining them back into one data set that we're titling Venn data. And that way we can distinguish it and understand that this uh, sheet will be used for and only for our Venn diagram. And then to create your Venn diagram, you wanna have your X being the Venn data. You wanna put your file name and designate it to the direct path to the folder at which you want it to be in after it's exported. Of course, you need to have the image type 
you want to make it a PNG. Perhaps you want to make it a TIFF file for publication purposes, but you need to distinguish that. The main stands for the title, at which will be above the four-way Venn diagram. We have additional uh, parameters that are good to include and believe they're the size of the text, the color being black. If you want to have fills, make them colorful. You can choose the colors of the overlapping layers. I have commented it out, so it'll just be a black and white. Setting our alpha to 0.5. Our label color is black so that the lettering is black. We're using, we can adjust the font. In this, we're doing serif, bold font. And again, some additional parameters. Include everything here, adjust it as you want. We will not see it pop up below because we've designated the pathway to where it will be. We run the script as the Venn diagram. Oh, we have an error. Unable to start PNG device. Let's see if we can do this again. There we go. I uh, see I had it open as an image on the side and therefore it wouldn't let me make the file again for something that was already open. But when you've all said and done, you will now have a Venn diagram that looks something like this. You'll have your uh, data column, your columns represented above each section, and you can now start to tease apart your data and see if it is worth pursuing in individual sense or if you need to continue looking at it and as a whole. All right, that's all that I have today. Thank you.